No ransom has been paid in the cyber attack on Oahu's bus system. That's according to the Department of Transportation Services director. Now he hopes to get the entire system back online by tomorrow. Paul Drews reports this cyber attack on the bus is not the only one happening in Hawaii. Cyber criminals again tried to stop Oahu's bus operations. It became pretty obvious that it was an outside intrusion into the system, a cyber breach into the system. Saturday's breach of the Oahu transit system led to a brief shutdown of some services and a continued outage of GPS real-time monitoring of buses and handy vans. Morton hasn't said how the cyber criminals got into the OTS system, but did say the breach was bad timing. Monday, they were scheduled to up to install the latest updated uh, firewall. Unfortunately, they were two days late in, in getting that done. OTS is not alone in being attacked by cyber criminals. You know, what happens at OTS, that's the same kind of thing that's happening everywhere in critical infrastructure. So they're in the transportation sector. We're seeing this in energy. So we're talking about power, water, critical utilities, telecommunications. All of those uh, types of services have a wide attack vector, meaning that there's lots of ways that you can get in if you're a bad guy. Attila founded the cybersecurity company CyPAC and said he's seen a huge increase in cyber crime, with Hawaii being a popular target, as online gangs attempt to infiltrate the military or contractors and businesses that support the armed forces here. Uh, we are the gateway to the east, and that makes us uh, kind of like the firewall to the west. Uh, we uh, take the grunt of a, a lot of these kind of attacks. This isn't the first time OTS has been hacked. Cyber criminals attempted to put the brakes on bus operations at the end of 2021. Now, connections to outside sources like GPS monitoring of buses and holo holo card payments remain down while IT experts comb through the OTS system. So they're methodically taking up, uh, you know, putting the system back. Now, part of that is disinfecting hundreds of workstations on the chance that they might hold uh, some kind of virus on them. So you do them one at a time uh, and it's painstaking, but that's what they're doing. Why are they doing this? Because uh, if they really had a good security posture after their last breach, then the assumption is that none of those systems should have been compromised. Attila adds there are some simple steps any business can take to protect itself from cyber attack, including making sure employees have good security training so they know how to recognize potentially harmful emails, and phasing out old hardware and software as end-of-life equipment are frequently compromised, along with this important tip for everyone to follow online. Password hygiene. This is so basic, but many people don't do it, especially in bigger companies. If you have a password on one website, and then you have that same password in use on a separate website, if the first website is compromised, then, that, then they have access to that password on the second website. Paul Drews, Island News.